Welcome to another episode of Future Focus, bringing you stories of social and environmental innovation from around the globe. Bhutan is the highest country in the world. The Maldives, the lowest. The Netherlands is ranked the ninth lowest in the world, with 22,000 kilometers of dikes and one third of the country being below sea level. That's why this episode is so important. We show how innovation has created huge advances for the protection of the country and its coastline. Its lowest point, at a place called Zoutplas Polder, near Rotterdam, is 6.7 meters below sea level. So as you can imagine, this definitely creates some problems, environmentally, socially, and economically. But first, let's rewind a little bit. In 1953, the Netherlands experienced one of their biggest floods in history, where 150,000 acres of land was destroyed and 2,000 people lost their lives. So the combination of the wind, high tide and low pressure caused the sea to flood up to 5.6 meters above the sea level. That's 20% of the whole country. However, concrete, steel and basically anything man-made can really only last for so long. They really needed to find a solution which was something truly sustainable and innovative. They needed to work with the environment, not against it. However, every problem has a solution, and this one is pretty unique. After the floods in 1953, I think the Dutch government had had enough. They set about reclaiming 1,000 hectares of land from the North Sea. Everything you see behind me is protected by the Zand motor a few kilometers south of here. So this sandbank is the natural motor. By design and over time, the project relies on the natural forces of the bank to create the motor that spreads the sand along 13 miles of coast, adding about 3,500 acres of new beach and dunes as it does so. It's a natural process using the lateral current of the sea to transport the sediments along the coastline to reinforce the beach. So here we are. I'm now walking on the sand motor. It's a project which was developed in 2011. It's made from 21 million cubic meters of sand. It's an artificial piece of land sticking out from the Netherlands and it protects hundreds of kilometers of coastline with the currents, the wind and the waves which pushes the sand out and pushes it along the coastline. So essentially self-sustaining itself. You can see the monitoring tower over there as well. That's where the project monitors and sustains the whole motion of the sand motor. Research has shown because of this new extension of land local flora and fauna have actually increased in the area, as well as increasing tourism in the region, making it one of the best places to kite surf in the Netherlands. It's genius in terms of coastal maintenance. It's extremely simple and sustainable, and it doesn't damage the local environment at all. However, there is still lots of research to be done, and the local authorities will publish their new research this year. So stay tuned and see what happens in the future, and thank you for watching. That's one problem and one solution. See you next time.